we're going to take a peek at some of the dashboards that are created with us, uh, for us by the sample application that does uh, come along with OBIE 11G. Um, and first off, we're going to take a look at charting. You can see uh, by hopping over to the charting dashboard, uh, you kind of saw this chart build out. And uh, there is the capability of a lot of different interaction with the content and the information that's delivered uh, via the dashboard. I can hop on over here uh, to the legend and kind of scroll up and down the legend and get a closer peek at what I'm actually looking at. I can also scroll through the legend. Um, you know, ultimately, maybe I want to drill into uh, this component and see 2008 manufactured uh, department a, a little closer. And now I can actually get a much better look as to what's ultimately happening within that chart. Within this uh, table, I also have the capabilities of easily rearranging columns um, all within the dashboard. So now your end users uh, can rearrange things uh, based on how they want to ultimately look at information. Uh, they can sort. Uh, so I can sort on revenue um, and, and do all of these various different uh, interactive uh, type components right within the dashboard. Another fun uh, feature from a visualization perspective is the chart slider. Uh, so just really quickly looking here at a chart that has a slider uh, uh, provided with it, uh, I can see that I can kind of scroll through the months and see how my revenue ultimately changes. Um, so kind of a neat, fun feature and in, in will allow us to think about how we display information uh, to our end users um, utilizing these, these fun features and ultimately giving them the capability to detect what's going on inside their business. We're also going to take a really quick peek at a BI publisher or an enterprise reporting uh, type report. And here I have a dashboard that has some reports uh, that were built, um, you know, utilizing uh, the analysis and, and interactive reporting capabilities. And down here I have some reports that were built utilizing the enterprise reporting capabilities, ultimately allowing me to develop a pixel perfect report with everything in the exact location that I want it. Uh, within the, the yeah, publisher type content that's brought into the application, you can see as well as it is interactive. And I can scroll over and take a closer peek as to what I'm looking at. We'll take a peek up here. Now this, on the left hand side, is a, is a prompt. Uh, so you can see it's very different uh, in regards to how it's displayed. On this dashboard, I'm going to quickly just select 2010 and apply that prompt to ultimately see what it will do to this dashboard. You can see on the top part, um, you know, the report changed to just 2010, and as well as on the area that was built uh, with the BI publisher, that's just changing to 2010. Uh, I have the capabilities with this BI publisher report uh, to download the report, so I can easily download it into a variety of different formats as well, depending upon how I want to use it. We're now going to hop over and take a quick sneak peek at MAP, um, just to give you a little high level of what the geospatial intelligence integration looks like. So here we're going to be looking at a street level map of San Francisco. Uh, again, within the mapping features, it's very interactive. Just as I would expect uh, when I go out to Google, I can drill in to the map and take a look at things a little bit uh, more closely. And I can also use the prompts to interact with the map and ultimately change the information that I'm looking at. You can see that this map uh, is providing some conditional formatting, helping me understand what's happening on the various different uh, streets of San Francisco. Um, you know, this map's not built out to do this, but certainly you are able as well to drill into maps um, 
in, in some of the, the features and functionality of this new space, geospatial intelligence. Uh, one last thing that we'll take a look at, and um, we'll just look at really quick some hierarchy features, uh, which again are some new enhancements to OBIEE 11G. Um, you know, really quickly, I can drill down, and you can see what drilling down looks like. It's a, a bit different uh, than what it used to look like. So I can drill down on each of the various different hierarchies. I can also pivot, so I can pivot uh, products to go um, across the columns and maybe bring time across the rows. Maybe. Oh, there we go. So I can very easily change the pivot as an end user and how I'm looking at this information and, again, continue to drill down. We're going to hop over and take a look really quickly at this hierarchy uh, report, and this is ultimately showing um, a ragged hierarchy. So that is one of the new features of the technology is being able to handle ragged hierarchies, meaning I can look at reports and not everything in my hierarchy may be at the same level. You can see here I drilled into A brand and I got to B line of business. Uh, I can you know drill into A brand 2 and see that I skipped right over B because there's really, there's not part of that within the hierarchy of brand two. It took me straight to C, type three. So the tool is intuitive enough to understand what level of the hierarchy is this information ultimately displayed at. Again, the purpose of this high-level demo was just to give you a quick introduction to the look and feel of OBIEE 11G. I'm now going to hop back over. Uh, to the PowerPoint presentation, where we'll talk more about some of the new features and functionality. So really quickly, hopping in and talking about the OBIEE 11G Task Force. Uh, BICG is uh, committing uh, resources and time to ensure that, again, our customers and our consultants are becoming enabled and ready for this new technology. BICG was one of five beta partners that was uh, part of Oracle's beta program in which we were able to get access to the technology um, uh, quite a while ago and provide some really good feedback uh, with Oracle. We had 15 BICG employees that took part in that beta program, helping us flesh out and understand some of the new technologies and helping us understand ultimately how will this change the way we approach projects and ultimately how will it change the way uh, we approach providing solutions to our customers. BICG will be focusing on, uh, as I mentioned earlier, webinar series dedicated to 11G for the next several months. Some of the topics that we'll be talking about uh, include, you know, taking a deep look in regards to what's the difference between 10G and 11G from an end user uh, and user interface perspective. We'll also be looking at um, and that one's going to be in the month of September. In the month of October, we're going to be looking at uh, kind of the scalability and performance capabilities uh, and installation uh, considerations of the technology. November and beyond, um, maybe an architecture overview, uh, take a deeper look at performance management integration. Ultimately, there's, there's a ton of new topics that we can explore uh, during the webinar series. So certainly feel free to provide some feedback if there's a topic uh, that you're interested in. CICG is also going to be offering free hands-on workshops um, in many cities uh, starting in October time frame. We're currently booking workshops in San Francisco, Dallas, Minneapolis, and Boston initially, and uh, we'll certainly be booking in other cities um, uh, closer to the end of the year as well. Again, talking a little bit about some of the things that we're doing, we've got some white papers uh, that have been completed. Uh, that will be available for download on our website in the very near future, as well as I mentioned, the frequently asked questions. If there are questions that pop up today, we'll include some of those questions in uh, that white paper and disperse that out to, to everybody on this call. Our BICG University classes, 11G courses, will start in January 2011, and our course schedule will be available online in early November. And then finally, we are offering expert services engagement to start mapping out and doing some upgrade analysis for your implementation and helping provide a strategic roadmap 
on when it's time for you to upgrade to this new technology, what you need to prepare for, and what it means uh, in your organization.